Hi, this is Rodney with Mercer Online. So this video is going to demonstrate how to bring a presentation into Google Docs. Uh, we're going to take a PowerPoint presentation and we're going to convert it into a Google Docs format so that we can embed that presentation into an online course. So the first thing you do is go in your web browser and go into Google Drive or Google Docs. Um, the URL is drive.google.com and you'll log in with your uh, Google credentials. Then once you're in there, go ahead and create yourself a new folder. I've created one here called Orientation because I do a lot of orientation stuff. The presentation I'm going to do is not actually an orientation presentation, but that's okay too. So I'm going to click on the Create button here and select Presentation. So what I'm going to do is create a brand new presentation. The first thing I want to do is give it a name. And this is going to be called Surviving the Zombie Apocalypse. Okay, so I've created my presentation, and now my PowerPoint file is in a standard format. And you'll notice this uh, slide here looks a little funny. It's more of a rectangle than a square, so we want to change the format of that. And that's the first thing you want to do before you import any slides. If you come up to File, and you go to Page Setup, and then change that to Standard instead of being widescreen, and hit OK. That's going to be real important here in a minute. Now, I'm going to delete the only slide that's in here. So what I have is a whole bunch of blankness. So now I'm going to bring in my presentation. To do this, come to Insert in the drop-down, and then select Import Slides. And you'll get several options here. And what I'm going to do is click on Upload, and then I'm going to drag and drop my file. Now I've got right here on this screen, I have a little presentation called Zombie.PowerPoint. So I'm pulling it in and it's uploading now into my Google Drive and Google Docs is converting it into a um, viewable format for Google Docs and here it comes. So Once it's pulled up your slides the next thing you're going to want to do is select all the slides. So you just click on all right here at the top where it says select slides. You click on all and then click on import slides and this is going to bring those slides in and you know what they were in a Microsoft PowerPoint format they're now going to be converted into a Google Docs format and so you'll see here we have my presentation and if I come through I will see here's all of my stuff that I had in there and there is my PowerPoint presentation only now it is a Google Slides presentation so the next thing I want to do is bring this presentation into my course in Blackboard so to do that, if you come over here to the right and you click on the Share button, the first thing you want to do is set the access. So right now it's set to Private, and we want to not make it private. So I'm going to click on Change here, and I'm going to select anyone with the link. Um, anyone with the link means that this cannot be searched on the web. So if somebody were to do a Google search for surviving the, the zombie apocalypse, they would not find my presentation. Uh, if it's public on the web, then it will be indexed, and it will be searchable. So you don't want to do that, you just want to go with anyone with the link and hit save. And now you'll see up here at the top we have this very large link that we could share. And I'm going to grab that link here and copy it. Because I'm going to do something else before we move forward. The next thing I want to do is make it so that my students can print this slideshow if they want to. And so because I've got a graphic as a background here, I'm going to create a shape. But what you could do is just create a text box if you you know if you didn't have such a um, robust background but what I'm doing is I'm just creating a shape here and inside of that shape I'm gonna say printable version of this presentation and now I'm going to just decrease the size of my box so that it fits with my text and I'm gonna right justify my text and then stretch it back out again just because I want it to be just one line. I don't want it to be two lines. I'm just trying to make it nice and pretty. So here we go. And if I wanted to, I could actually center that text so that it would just be in the center of the box, however you want to do it. Now, you notice that when I had the share screen up, I had that big URL, and I copied that to my clipboard. So I did that so that I could create a link to this presentation inside of the presentation itself. So I highlight that text, and I hit Control K on my keyboard. And now you see I've got the text selected and it's asking me, okay, what do you want this to link to? And I 
paste that URL that I had just copied. So I hit apply and now what's going to happen is when my students are viewing this presentation they're going to see that link in the lower right hand corner that says printable version of this presentation. So they can click on that link. It's going to open up into a new window the presentation itself. It's not going to be in a slideshow viewing format. It's going to be in like a slide editing format but they can't edit it. All they can do is print it but they do have a lot of options in how they can print it and what the different um, styles of print they can have. They can have you know multiple slides on a page or one slide with some area for text to be entered whatever. So there's a lot of more options available to the students there. Now what I am going to do with this link is I don't like that green so I'm just going to highlight that and come up here and change my text color. I think it should fit with the red theme I've got up there in the blood. So I just make it a, a pinkish color. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this presentation and I'm going to embed it into my Blackboard course. So to do that, if I click on File and go to Publish to the Web and click on Start Publishing. And Google says, are you sure you want to do this? And I say, of course I do. So I click OK. And now you'll see I have the link to the document or I have the embed code. Now I'm going to grab this embed code. And what I do is I just click in there and I hit Control A on the keyboard and then Control C to copy it. And then I'm going to come over to Blackboard. And I'm going to come into my uh, sandbox here or my other other sandbox here. And this is going to bring up my Blackboard course. And if I click on Lessons here, I can add my um, presentation. So to do that, I click on Build Content and select Blank Page. And in my title, I'm going to call it Surviving the Zombie Apocalypse. And then down here in this content area, what I want to do is click on the HTML button over here to the right. So this way I can see my HTML code. Now because it's a blank page, there's nothing in there. But if I hit Control V, now I just pasted in the iframe or the HTML code for the iframe for that uh, presentation that I created in Google Drive. So I've got that in here and I hit update. And now you'll see that the background of my content editor has turned yellow. And that's great. That's exactly what I wanted it to be. So I'm going to scroll down. My options are fine. Permit users to view this content. Yes. So I scroll down to the end and I hit submit. And there we go. So now I've got my presentation in there. Now to view it, if you're inside of Blackboard as the instructor and you click on this to view it, you're not going to be able to view it at first because all it's going to do is it's going to come back up to the edit mode and it's going to show you that. So you don't want to see that. You want to turn edit mode off right here where it says edit mode is on. You can turn that to off or you can click on the hurricane button here to go into student view, whichever you'd like. I'm just going to turn the edit mode off here and then click on surviving the zombie apocalypse. And this is going to bring up my presentation. There it is. Ta-da! I have my presentation. And you'll see down here at the bottom, there's the navigation all built in for me. So I can click on the forward and backward navigation to go where I need to go. Um, I can come to this drop down right here and select slide one so I can jump back. And then there you see is my link to the printable version of the presentation. If I click on that, that's going to open up a new window. And now I can print it out. I can do with it whatever I want. Now, because I'm the owner of this presentation, I get all of these options. But if I were just a student and I were not the owner of this, the only thing I would see is uh, file and view. Uh, that way they could go in, they could save it as a PowerPoint file, save it as a PDF. They could print it and they can determine how they wanted it to print out. And the great thing about this is you can go in and edit this presentation itself. Let's say I wanted to change something in one of my slides. Like I have a new uh, link that I want to send students to. What I could do is I could just come over here and grab the text box, draw it right here on the page, and I'm going to just put in a link to the zombie apocalypse uh, store. And the URL for the zombie apocalypse store is zombieapocalypsestore.com. So I'm just going to type that in here. And so I've put that link in there, and I'm going to just copy the text. And they'd come over here to the right and insert link. Click on that inside of the uh, toolbar, or just hit Control-K on my keyboard, either one. And now it says, OK, zombieapocalypsestore.com. It's in here. I'm going to just stretch that little box out a little bit so it fits on one line. And the changes are going to be automatically saved. You'll notice up here at the top of my screen it says, All changes saved in Drive. So this has already been saved. 
which is pretty awesome. So if I come back to um, Blackboard, and I'm going to click on uh, Lessons just to get out of this folder, out of the presentation, because I'm going to go back into it. So I go back into my presentation, and I scroll down, go to the next slide, and lo and behold, there is my link to zombieapocalypsestore.com. And I can click on that, check it, make sure that the link works. And here we are at the Zombie Apocalypse Store in Las Vegas. So that is how you take a presentation from PowerPoint and you put it into Google Slides. Then you embed that Google Slide presentation into Blackboard. And then you can even go in and edit that presentation if you would like. Uh, if you find that there's something later on that you want to tweak or change, you can do that right inside of Google Drive without having to go through the thousand steps that you had to go through previously. If you are using voice narration on your presentations, uh, we still are requesting that you not use Google Slides for that because you can't embed audio into Google Slides. But um, you can contact us and we'll be glad to help you with those presentations. But if it's something that does not have voiceover narration, this is definitely the way to go. It makes life a whole lot easier. If you have any questions, reach out to us. That's merceronline at mccc.edu or give us a call 609-570-3389. Thanks.